is love coffee is life so for today's video I'm gonna be doing a first impressions uh, my last video was an Ulta haul so um, yeah basically I'm just gonna be trying uh, new products of course I don't have a full face of products I'm not rich but I do have some products that I could use and including this video and I just figured you know we could get ready together I want to see that me just trying new products and sharing my opinions about them. Make sure you keep on watching. Okay, so I zoomed you in just a little bit. I'm gonna carve out my brows and prime my lids. Speed this through so it's not boring. Literally scraping whatever is left. There's nothing left. Colourpop concealer sitting down on my eye? That's nasty, bro. That's questionable, Colourpop. Maybe they're expired. I don't know. We'll see if I get like an eye infection or something. Okay, so after 10 minutes, my lids are primed. Using this palette, I was actually just gonna leave it for a quick get ready with me. But I figured since I already did the blue one, I might, might as well include this one here since it's kind of new to my collection. So I already used this in a quick get ready with me. So yeah. Did I? Yes, yes I did. Forward this because I'm sure this is kind of boring to some of you. I think what happened was when I was putting the glitter glue like I put it too far out this way and then when I was putting the matte shadow I just kind of was very patchy because yeah you got to be careful with that glue add a little bit of this uh, moody shade just for a little pop of something just for I freaking love it. Move on to the face. I have this No Pore Blend Priming Water. It's literally water. I'm not disappointed because it's not going to last very long. But it wasn't that expensive, so I guess so. So I'm just going to add like literally two drops. Just kind of press it into my skin. Skin just looks more hydrated. It, look, it feels more soft. Maybe when I'm very dry, like in the winter, I'll enjoy that. So, who the hell buys four primers at the same time? If you haven't seen my haul, yes, my crazy ass. I'll try one on the one side and then the other one on, on the other. So this is the e.l.f. Uh, Jelly Pop Dewy Primer. This is from their Watermelon Collection. Do like that much. John. Don't really like the scent. It smells like very fake watermelon. It gets kind of tacky. Even if I do like this one, this is too freaking expensive. Like, girl, $38? And then this feels like, like I'm already halfway through it. It's an ounce, but that does not feel like an ounce. Interesting. Ooh. I like the way this goes onto my skin. I feel like it feels like glue. It's very sticky. It's like they're both tacky. One, two foundation. I'm gonna be using the Lancome uh, Tainted Doll Ultra Wear. However you say that, whatever. That much. This oxidizes, so that's 
why. I'm just gonna use a brush to get more coverage. At the end, I'm gonna go in with my um, essence sponge. with this primer look how smooth my skin looks and then over here i feel like it just doesn't look as smooth i don't know. peek a little bit more texture on this side like it just kind of just doesn't seem like it went on as smooth as this side okay so i'm gonna put a little bit more because maybe this is better with a sponge sponge right here i already used it for priming my skin so let me because maybe it does better with the sponge I do have a lot more texture on this side, so I feel like it looks less, less texturized now that I applied it with a sponge. To concealer, nothing new to see here. If you've ever seen my videos, I mean, I'm always going to use this unless I state otherwise. <laughs> always look like the girl from black swan um some thoughts on this sponge okay so i would recommend using it with very dewy products i feel like it doesn't really soak up a lot of product um at all which is good so i usually put a lot of concealer so now i felt like i was left with a lot of concealer it is a little hard but i feel like this will get softer with time so what i recommend i mean it's it's a sponge if you're not too picky about your sponges i recommend this um but if you are very picky i would just kind of pass on it and maybe see if they come up with something better it's definitely not that soft and it definitely leaves you with kind of like a matte finish try it out for yourself but i'm just gonna contour my nose actually a different shade I kind of just use whatever, man. But this one is Oaks on You. Set my contour with this sculpting bronzer. I'm gonna try this jelly uh, flesh blush in Peachy Pop from Elf. And it's a jiggly jiggles. It jiggles. It's so cute. So I'm gonna use that that much, and I'm just gonna warm it up here in the back of my hand. Grab my sponge. Relief. I just put some like. Let me try blending it with my finger. your very healthy sheen i like it you definitely have to build it up but i feel like it's better that way you're not left with like whoa whoa relax setting my face i'm gonna be putting bronzer highlight all that good stuff and then i'll come back so i can show you how i do my brows with the brow duo and i believe that is everything that i have to share with new products i'll just beat the rest up
Okay, so I'm gonna brush my hairs downward of this. I don't know if you could tell lightly because this is very, very, very pigmented. Hairs up that don't look so even. Like I should have gone a little higher. There we go. Doing this now. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a little bit of hairs. And then also here at the bottom. I'm gonna brush them up just so they can kind of blend. And as you can see, they look very bushy. I go back to the pencil. Okay, there we are. Foolproof brow powder. Now I'm just gonna set everything so it doesn't melt off so my brows can stay in place because it's very hot outside. I actually do like this pencil and I see myself reaching for this when I have like a very dramatic makeup. Now if you think they don't look clean enough, this is where you'd kind of go and clean it up wherever you like. I'm for right here, I want to clean it up just a little bit. Just so it looks a little more clean right here for the last step i'm just going to use some ColourPop clear brow gel super bold i put some eyeliner just a little bit i try this mascara right here which is a damn girl by Too faced i just feel like the formula is very thin like i don't know i just don't feel like it does much for my lashes Maybe it just needs to dry up a little bit. Not impressed, like I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this mascara. It coats them, but it's not like wow. Like it doesn't give me volume, which is what I look for. I'll let it dry a little bit and then I'll go in with another layer. Um, I fix my hair and then I'll come back to finish with the lips. So and I'm back. And this is the last product. This was in my sample bag. Uh, this is an Anastasia liquid lipstick. It's a mini one. Uh, it's in the shade Crush. <music> I think I might have overlined my lips just a little bit. I kind of want lip gloss, so a bit of Glass Lip by ColourPop. This is the final look. Let's run down through the product. Okay, so all the primers. Um, actually, this is my old one. This is the big one. Oh, oh my god! I actually didn't think they were that big. 1.35 um, ounces. I'm trying to do the math. Two hours later. So this is 0.75 ounces, almost, almost an entire ounce more for 10 more dollars, which, um, I mean, it's pretty good. So yeah, I mean, check it out. So you could save a little bit of money. Cover FX gripping primer is on this side and I can see less texture, but I mean, in real life, I do have less texture. So I would have to keep on trying it, but I have to say it is a really, really, really nice primer. It's sticky. Um, we'll see how long it lasts on my face. Um, last time I didn't see that it was like wow, like it didn't wow me, wow me in comparison to this side. But this side, yeah, it looks a little bit more texturized because it is a dewy primer. I mean, I feel like, yeah, this side I guess looks a little bit more luminous, but it does look a little bit more texturized for some reason, even though dewy is supposed to make you look less texturized. So we'll see about that. So I'm not sure if I can recommend this to you. However, I do feel like this one is really nice though. Uh, you could definitely build it up. Reason as to why my Leo makeup look is not up yet. Um, because I was already going to film it today. And then yesterday I put in my order for ColourPop because I want the Uh Huh Honey palette. Which sold out like four times. 
now got my hands on and I'm just waiting for that palette to come in so I can do the Leo on that palette because it's so pretty so I figured you know trying the palette even though it's already too late um, because I want the best for the Leo I just want to use one palette that has yellow and gold so nobody cares the touch and soul um, Bulgarian toning water I mean this if you are very dry sure but to me it just kind of seems like I mean I've used it twice can you see how much I've already used up like it's just not gonna last you very long even though it's very nice like I mean I don't know what they were thinking in ter terms of the packaging like they should have just done like a bottle like this like essence water comes like you know like big bottles like that then maybe it would be worth it but it's a little too expensive for the packaging because I mean this is only it doesn't even say how many this is 340 milligrams but I, I mean it's supposed to be hydrating and I don't know so I would pass on this one I mean it's not a bad mascara but it's like 20 some dollars like I'm like no like it's not worth it it leaves my lashes looking very good but it's not enough for me to go spend this much money when ColourPop one and the L'Oreal one do the same thing I don't know maybe try the mini size and see how well it works for you. Last but not least, I just wanted to talk about this guy right here. This is the brow blade. I really, really do like this one for when I want very bold brows. For the everyday use, I think it'll just take me a little bit longer than what I usually do. I like how natural, naturally bold my lash, my eyebrows look with this pencil. So I really do like that. Um, it kind of sucks that I'm pretty sure the pencil size is gonna run out before the marker one so I mean I would just suggest that if it runs out it's fine like you could just use whatever like the ColourPop one and then you just use the marker for when you want those like feather like strokes it's really good for um, I mean it's Urban Decay it's high-end and I really really do like it so I liked everything with the exception of this Jelly Pop Dewy Primer I mean I don't know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you used it. With what foundation. I'm going to try it with more foundation. And yeah, I mean, I love these palettes. Like, if you can pick them up, I, I would recommend you pick them up in whichever color you like. They have purple, orange, yellow, blue. I have one with the blue palette. I will put it up in the cards below that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed hope this video was helpful to find good uh, products thank you so much for watching please subscribe and like this video um and hopefully i can see you on my next one bye mm -hmm.